Oh, hi there, uh, radio peeps. Bob in one KPR. November 1, Kila Papa Romeo on YouTube and www.bobsamerica.com. Here's, here's a quickie for you. Um, I just put together a little uh, up converter, 10 megahertz guy, uh, that it's uh, got a couple of interesting uses. One is if you're uh, into loafer listening, low band listening, or NDB, a beacon chaser, the aircraft beacons, and so forth, uh, you might be interested in this project. Um, the reason I built it was if you think about shortwave receivers, uh, a lot of them aren't any good or won't receive down below 100 or 150 kilohertz. And even then, the ones that are good for that into the low band aren't very good there uh, in sensitivity and selectivity. And a lot of them, most of them, have attenuators built in for the MF band, the AM broadcast band. Uh, so what would be ideal is to have your shortwave receiver's maximum performance good for those bands. So what do you do? You take the, uh, the LF or MF incoming signal you want and up convert it by 10 megs. And, uh, you do that with this little, uh, mixer circuit. Now what happens is that, uh, I can listen to the AM broadcast band in the 10 megahertz band, which I'm doing right now. I'm listening to 960 AM, but I'm in the 10 meg band. Uh, with the receiver's full capabilities, without any of the front-end attenuation or the uh, uh, lousy filtering or even non-existing filtering down there where you get a lot of inner mod. And I can actually go down to 0 megahertz with this thing. I could dial up 10 megs plus 1 hertz and, you know, there's nothing there, but I could do that. I could also listen to 24 megahertz, the Cutler uh, Marine... Uh, submarine thing and uh uh 60 hertz uh uh digital uh, time codes from uh, wwvb uh to keep all our clocks running and whatever you want to do but basically i did this for just a thought for a guy who's going to be uh, monitoring it's another pre-selector project and i'm going to stick this into it if you look back at some of my recent YouTube's just do a date search and uh, look at the last three, four, five, or six of them. Uh, th those are all the pre-selector things, and uh, you get an idea of what this is all about. He's going to be able to use a shortwave radio in the broadcast band, maybe. I'm going to try to talk him into it, see what he says. He may have to learn the hard way. He may not want it at all. I don't know, but it's going to be fun for SWL and for some loafer ham work we're doing at the. Uh, radio club. Anyhow, here's, uh, here's a circuit. Basically this is, um, this circuit is the old, uh, 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 Charlie, uh, what was his name? Uh, Charlie Olson, Charles Olson circuit, um, whiskey Bravo nine, uh, KZY. And he had put these kits out. I guess he still does. Uh, but basically what it is, we're using a, uh, an SA602 mixer chip and we we'll get a pointer and we're doing some monkey business with the 10, 10 meg crystal here and up front, uh, Charlie had provided a 300 kilohertz high pass filter, a uh, low pass filter so that you could, uh, get any broadcast stuff that was coming in here and get rid of it. And it really works well. It's a good, it's a good design. Um, I modded this thing to go from three kilohertz up to five, or, I'm sorry, 300 kilohertz up to 500 kilohertz. So I could uh, come right up to the edge of the broadcast band. Uh, in doing so, I had to change uh, these caps to uh, 0.02s, 0.02 here in an 027 here and I had to rewind the chokes to uh, 11.4 micro Henry's instead of 26 and 26. If you feed this thing 
over here at the input cap, uh, you bypass the filter and you're going to get the broadcast band to go through and come out at 10 megs for your, uh, your hot shot, uh, shortwave radio. Uh, we got an eight volt regulator here. I'm adding a, uh, a pie here with, uh, these two electrolytics at about three, I don't know, between three and 600 micro Henry's. I want a real clean eight volts out here to drive this, this thing. But that's basically the circuit there. You could see it and kind of, I don't know if you're going to be able to capture that or not, but there it is. Let me just scan it. You can, you can, you can grab that. And if you're so inclined, you can grab this, this. I know this is a pain in the butt, but uh, best I could do. Anyhow, here's the thing on the board: uh, the 602 chip, the regulator, a little uh, a buffer amp output. Uh, we have the toroids, the filter caps. I'm coming in. Over here, yellow is input. Remember that the old retma code. Blue is output. Yellow is input. If you want to work with the old standard, you can't go wrong. Right now, I've got a clip lead on the input cap. And I'm coming back down to the uh, input connector. I'm going to show you something now. I'm going to turn up the radio here. Let me get some volume. And I'm bypassed and you can kind of the filter. At 960, you can see the needle on the meter, almost to the pegs. All right, we're going to take the clip out and let it run direct. Dead air. Absolutely dead air. Still on 10960. Look at that. That's like a bazillion decibels lost. So uh, it works. Uh, tonight, I'm going to be fooling around looking for some NDBs. There's not many left. Uh, they're phasing them out uh, now with all the new avionics. But uh, uh, the loafer band's still there. And we'll go down to 470, the 470 band, and look around. And uh, uh, maybe down into the 150-something, whatever it is, band, and look there, see what the hams are experimenting with. But there it is, a nice, clean... Um, uh, up converter for 10 megs. You could do it with a different crystal. You could do it with a four me four point something meg crystal. Um, I chose the 10 because uh, it's easy. You just uh, come over to the, to the radio, ignore the 10, and start tuning. And believe me, the performance of the radio at 10 megs is a lot different than it is down at 960 without all the uh, built-in safety uh, attenuators that the engineers were so smart to think of and say, yeah, well, he doesn't need microvolts. He needs millivolts in the, in the EMF band. Well, not if you're an AMD Xer. Thank you very much. So there you have it, short and sweet, I hope. I'm going to build this into a, uh, uh, if you remember this thing, let's see if we can get sideways, get the picture in. <laughs> Uh, the next version of this pre-selector, you'll remember that if you look back at the uh, old YouTube stuff uh, from a week ago, two weeks ago, and a month ago. Um, it's, uh, we're going to build that in and give him the option. He can flip a switch and he can go into the plus 10 meg mode and then he can flip another switch and do the, uh, the filter bypass so he could do just AM only or he can go down the LF and VLF and ELF bands. Isn't that great? Oh, life is beautiful. Be beat the bella. Okay. Ran long. I always do. But anybody that knows me, I'll tell you, Bob likes to talk. Thanks a lot for looking. In one KPR on YouTube, bobsamerica.com online, and see you later. Thanks for looking. Have a great day. Hey, 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 hey. Stay safe out there. Wear gloves. Wash your hands. Don't kiss a lot of people. Bye-bye.